Hello guys, I'm Ivana, welcome to my channel and I wanted to make a video because people are seeing some stuff on the internet like this one like you are seeing over there people are getting hoodies from Microsoft MVP so I got a couple of messages about actually what is happening and why people are getting clothes uh, for being an MVP and the most important one, how do I become one? So I decided to just record this video. I have a couple of notes in here which I want you to make sure that you follow because I want to guide people just to get the award like I have. So right now, if you search on the internet the Microsoft MVP award, uh, you won't be able to get into the website because we are actually right now in a process of renewal. So um, the website is going to be uh, in maintenance until tomorrow because tomorrow we are getting the, uh, the news about if we got the reward or not, if we are nominated again uh, or not. But before jumping into that, I want to make sure that you guys go follow me step by step on actually understanding the, the award. So what is... Uh, to be a Microsoft MVP. Actually, the MVP award is an award, as, as it says. It's given by Microsoft to technology experts who are passionate uh, about sharing their knowledge with the community. And uh, that's an award, it means that Microsoft is uh, giving you a present or something like that, actually, like a title or something like that. And, um, how do you have, how do you became uh, a Microsoft MVP? How do you actually get that award? Well, there is uh, actually the to get the awards. It just means that you are recognized by your peers on your knowledge. So the first step uh, in the process is that you have to get the nomination, and the nomination can come from a Microsoft employee or another MVP that actually knows that you have a lot of knowledge and sees that you are sharing that knowledge with the community. So we have different categories uh, when it comes to the award. You can be pretty expert on development, you can be pretty expert on Azure, on Windows development. In my case, I, uh, I have the award for artificial intelligence. So I'm only focused on creating content about AI, but as you guys saw on my channel, I have different content about technologies like mixed reality, uh, and you can do that. You can create content of whatever you want. Of course, you always need to make sure that you keep on working on the nomination, on the actually the category in which you are nominated. In my case, artificial intelligence, okay? So, um, the criteria to become an MVP is not that clear because as, as I just mentioned, I create content for a lot of uh, technology about Microsoft, but um, you do need to make sure that in, before knowing if you can be a candidate, you need to make sure that you have three things, uh, to consider three things. First of all, you're not, you are not supposed to be a current Microsoft employee. So if you are a Microsoft employee, you cannot be awarded. Now, uh, but if you are an expert on some aspect, like we mentioned about Microsoft products, technologies, and if you have, and this is the key, proven passion for sharing that knowledge means that you need to be online, you need to have uh, blog post videos or whatever in um, sharing your uh, knowledge with people, okay? Then you can be, um, nominated but of course you need to make sure that you focus on one of the categories before at least before you get the award because uh, that make that will make sure that actually you are only focused on something and get the nomination on that um the the other thing that you can do is speak or take part in panels or conferences online conferences of course write blogs uh, articles or uh, any information, videos, whatever you want uh, in order to share what you are learning with the community. Now, it is important that you network with current MVPs and Microsoft employees because the award, it's important for the, for the award to, for you to have a lot of connections 
um, with people on your category or others uh, to be noticed, okay? To hopefully be nominated by some of these people. Now, I said something important about the proven uh, part of the documentation. So you need to provide, when you get nominated, I mean, if you already have the nomination, then you get the request by Microsoft to actually um, prove that you did share that knowledge with the community. So you need to provide the documentation that supports that nomination when they request it. So if you are um, a blogger, then you have all your blogs, you have all the views that your blogs have. If you are a YouTuber, then you have all the YouTube information that you need to provide so they can see that you are actually active and that you are creating the content. Does it matter if you have a lot of followers or if you have a lot of viewers? No. The only thing that matters is that you actively, actively share that with people, okay? Now, what are the benefits of getting the award? I, I'm pretty sure you guys saw that everyone has like, I do have like uh, the award over there and over there. Um, but that's not the only thing that comes with the award. Um, one of the benefits and is one of the ones I enjoy the most, which is we get early access to Microsoft products. So we have a direct contact or direct access to talk with Microsoft product teams in the category that you're working on. But you also can, of course, reach the other categories, uh, product teams. But you have the possibility to be part of helping them into how to improve the technology. Um, and the other thing is that it didn't happen uh, in the past few years because COVID, you guys know that about that. But we also get an invitation to what it is a global MVP summit, which is held uh, annually on uh, Microsoft headquarters in Redmond, United States. So we get an invitation to go over there and we have like a week of training uh, with the product teams over there. And uh, we also get, of course, Azure credit and a lot of uh, licenses in order to install everything uh, originally. Um, and something important, once you get the awards, of course, there are a lot of benefits, but uh, you need to maintain the award because the awards last for only one year. Unless you do one of the followings, give back the award or have the award resigned for misconduct by Microsoft or maybe take a job at Microsoft, then uh, that would be a situation in which you can't renew uh, your award, but you can be nominated year after year continuously. For example, you can see that people, in my case, for example, I have two years uh, Microsoft MVP award. This means that I've held um, one year MVP award uh, two times consecutively. Uh, now that I'm waiting for tomorrow's news because we, of course, everyone wants to give, be part of the program, but you cannot uh, probably also got, not get nominated again. Uh, and that's, that will be the end now. That won't be the end. So you can have like another part, which is called, I don't remember the name right now, but you can have like a possible uh, return to the award uh, and also in another category also too. But the important thing is that if you do what you love uh, doing, which is actually sharing your content with the community, that one, that is one thing. And the other, uh, you have evidence about that. Then you wouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't be scared of losing the award because actually you are doing what they awarded at the beginning. So, and the other important thing is that if you want to get nominated, you need to make sure that you have proven documentation one year uh, before the nomination. So let's say you get nominated right now, which we are in July, but you only have uh, documentation after June, uh, or sorry, after January. So that wouldn't be a, a, a nice situation because the award is given by uh, after you finish one year of actually de de delivering content to the community. So um, you need to make sure that you already have one year of documentation proving that you are part of events, you create content or whatever. So, and if you have questions about anything or if you want a mentor, if you want a guide, just ping me 
and I will help you. You can find me in all social media and I will leave my link tree over here so you can also uh, make sure that you uh, contact me. So thank you for watching.